some of you, <clears throat> some of you, for some reason, <clears throat> you can't stand it when I compare Tool to um, the greats of yesteryear. You take the thunder of uh, Led Zeppelin, <clears throat> excuse my damn throat, and then you infuse it with that cerebral touch of Pink Floyd, and then that great progressive sound of a King Crimson or an ELP, and then the prophetic type of writings of early Black Sabbath, I'm talking the Aussie years, you infuse all of those together, the message being enlightenment, seeking, encouraging you to move in a certain direction, avoiding certain pitfalls. You know, it's prophetic writing. It's the way early Sabbath used to write, you know, and you infuse all of that together and you've got tool. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they're their own um, individuals. Of course, they're their own this. Of course, they're their own that. But if you sit my ass down and you play this for me and I have no introduction to Tool whatsoever before, I would come up with that deliberation. I would, you know, I would come up with that conclusion just because they're just so complimental of these bands that have gone before them. I sometimes get messages from people saying, how dare you, how dare you, you this, you that, you that, you know, don't you dare compare them to anyone, don't you do this, don't you do that. I'm doing that shit, right? I'm doing it because I believe personally that they are uh, that good, that comparable to the bands of old, and in many respects even better because they have um, all of that time that they have gathered all of that information and all of the, that great inspiration from before, and now they're taking it and running with it, you know, uh, on a new track, a new, more refined track. Yeah, absolutely, you know? So um, in that respect, needless to say, Tool really complements um, uh, our, our heroes of yesteryear. That's all I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Sorry for my damn throat, man. I drank too much coffee this morning. That's what happens to me. All right, so let's do a quick read. Really, really excellent, man. Both songs, especially Reflection. So, first disposition. Disposition appears on Lateralis. It's the third studio album by American rock band Tool. It was released May 15, 2001, through Volcano Entertainment. Although, although Disposition has very few words, it's still a meaningful song. Humans need things to be explained. They have to understand things. Watch the weather change. It's the action, the beginning. Mention this to me, he says. Mention something, mention anything. It's begging for someone or something to explain the weather changing. But after he finishes, the weather changes again, so he asks again, mention this to me, but again it changes. The meaning of this song is that things happen, explaining how or why these things happen doesn't matter. What matters is that we embrace whatever bewilders us, because in the end, it will always change. So you're getting into areas of taking a leap of faith, for example, when you're trying to explain certain things. you know. If you're a Christian, for example, and you are trying to win someone over to your way of thinking and acceptance of God, you get to a point where you can't explain the practical things of what being a Christian means. That person has to take a leap of faith, right? Because you will never be able to completely understand every single thing and get all of the facts and the details. You know what I'm talking about? So there is a leap of faith factor that has to be applied. This particular case, he's talking about something uh, like the weather. 
that we can all understand his dilemma, we can all understand his um, uh, bewilderment about it and his um, marvel, marveling at it, but at the same time trying to really, really understand, trying to really um, uh, plot and uh, really break it down. It's an impossible thing. So you just have to sometimes have faith that this is how it works and accept and go with it, take a leap of faith. When you leave your house in the morning and you hit that highway and there's only a yellow strip dividing you from oncoming traffic going in the opposite direction, you can stay at home and cower under your blankets all day long because you're thinking to yourself, geez, man, you know, it only takes a split second for someone to come over that yellow line and kill my ass. Or you can take a leap of faith and get your ass out of bed, hop into your car and go anyway. It's not um, for you to understand. It's to uh, a very, very, very um, large degree out of your control completely. It's a leap of faith. Just an example of what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I think what these guys are trying to convey. All right. Reflection appears on lateralis as well. Uh, images in a reflection are dependent on the type of light cast upon them. And this song, the singer reaches what he thinks is the end of his pitiful existence. When he looks to the moon, has an epiphany, and realizes that we all are one. There is nothing impossible, and if it's conceivable, then we can achieve it through a higher level of consciousness. Album Info Lateralis debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, selling more than 55,000 200 copies in its first week of release. It was certified double platinum by the RIAA August 5, 2003. On February 13, 2015, the album was certified gold by the BPI. It was also certified platinum in Australia and double platinum in Canada. The band won the Grammy Award for Best Metal Performance for the song Schism in 2002. Lateralis was ranked number 123 on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's Definitive 200s list. All right. So there you have it, y'all. A look at a really, really excellent uh, quad. Uh, Joshua, I can totally understand why these are among your favorite Tool songs. They are just chock full of meanings and references, and uh, you can't help but think deep when you're listening to Tool. You can't just merely sit and just let it pass by as if it's just something to be playing in the background while you're running around doing this, doing that. No, oh, it commands your damn attention. And if you are just letting it play in the background while you're running around doing this, doing this, doing, you're missing the point of Tool. I'm not the biggest Tool fan and I've only been introduced to them a couple of months ago, but I know that shit already, right? And uh, reading that uh, passage there about the the, um, uh, critics uh, not understanding their desire to, uh, I forgot what the term was, where they kind of go into their musical interludes or whatever the case is, they're not getting it either. They're not getting Tool. So um, that's what I got to say about that. But most Tool fans already know that shit. They know that as being truth. I've only been a Tool fan for a couple of months and I already know that shit. So this concludes a uh, look at this really, really excellent quad. And uh, let me just uh, take a quick peek, man, see what I got coming up. Yeah, so Marco, your, geez, what does Marco have? I can't remember what Marco's got, but his, your reaction is next, brother. I'll hit that up tomorrow. Uh, Akachita, Robert, uh, John. John, I uh, John's got a really cool uh, jazz quad for me so I'm looking forward to that um, and I, I I think Robert has uh, no uh, Akachita's got Southern Rock no I can't remember man um, weeks go by right before I get back to these I basically just um, uh, give a thumbs up uh, put it on my calendar 
and then I get back to it weeks later and so sometimes it slips me but uh, in any case um, Marco your reaction is up man and it's tomorrow so uh, thanks very much for this uh, Joshua I really enjoyed this man hope you guys enjoyed this too pardon me clearing my damn throat and um, yeah well, yeah I was gonna say um, really really digging this platform for what it is meaning I like the variety, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like tomorrow, I have no idea what Marco's reaction is going to be about. More than likely, it's a different genre of music. I mean, like in a couple of days, John's uh, stuff is going to be some jazz, you know what I'm saying? Um, Akachita has sent me some Latin grooves before. And uh, yeah, you know, and so Robert has sent me a couple of variety of different things too. So there's always something different. I really, really dig that. It's like opening up a box of chocolates right and you don't know what it is that you're going to get right so i like that i like that very much about the variety uh aspect and i've explained previously that um i'm not specifically going to give any respective act the led zeppelin treatment on this platform because it takes so much of your time focusing on that one particular artist and so it what it will do is it'll push back on a lot of the variety exchange and that's what i want more so uh from this platform so that's why you're not going to see uh, a daily dose of tool or Radiohead or some of the more popular artists that a lot of people would like to see uh, given the Led Zeppelin treatment. I won't be doing that on this platform. Led Zeppelin is great, but to a certain degree, it's really, really saturated my classic rock platform, and I'm scaling it back a little bit to, a rock, uh, to allow a little bit more variety. But having said that, though, I give Led Zeppelin credit because half of those 20,000 subscribers came by way of Led Zeppelin reaction. So I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds, but at the same time, with this platform, I really, really like that whole variety, that multifarious mix, that rainbow of variety. That is what I really dig about this platform. And I don't give a shit if it doesn't grow to the size of the classic rock platform. In fact, I'm glad because I wouldn't have the time to be able to commit to it. I would shut this shit down, right? So uh, I'm glad that it's growing in a very, very slow uh, way because it allows me uh, the ability um, to manage it properly where my time is concerned. It's all about my time, man. Anyway, yes. Uh, didn't need to explain all of that shit to you. But anyway, uh, it came to mind because it, this is a Tool reaction and Tool is one of those big artists that's always, um, I'm constantly getting messages and recommendations to give them to the Led Zeppelin treatment. So now you know why. It's my opportunity and I know there's going to be a lot of views on here and from that there's going to be a lot of people coming back at me saying, hey, you should uh, give them the Led Zeppelin. So that's why I'm addressing it. Just so you know. All right. I'm going to bounce, y'all. Thanks very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. I'll definitely do more tool down the road, of course. Um, what else was I going to say? I think that's it, man. So, yeah, I'll see you in Marco's reaction tomorrow. Take care. Peace.